Padres. All right, a little bit disorganized today. Um, I am continuing my series on bad marriage advice. And the bad marriage advice that I'm tackling today is that it's not whether you fight, but how you fight. And the goal is to learn to fight fair. So I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And one of the things that uh, some of my clients have a real problem with is the word fight. Because a fight is a violent confrontation or struggle. And so when you think about fighting fair, it is the problem with being given permission to fight. One of my clients um, had seen another therapist trained in the Gottman um, method. And one of the things that he really struggled with was being told he had to fight with his wife. And he didn't like that. He didn't like that whole concept of fighting. And that's my problem with it, because everything that is suggested in fighting fair, all of the skills, all of the techniques, they're all wonderful. They're all great. They all work. But the problem is putting it under the umbrella of a fight. There are a lot of people, and maybe you're one of them, that conflict is really upsetting. Um, I have yet to meet anybody who really likes conflict, especially with conflict with somebody they care about. But when you're told that not only do all couples fight, which first off, that's a lie, and I'm going to tackle that in another bad marriage advice um, video. But the thing is, is that fighting, just that word, I mean, think about it. What comes up for you when you hear the word fight? I'm not sure that it's sunshine and flowers. You know, most of us don't want to fight. And so when we're told, not only do all couples fight, but that you actually have to fight and, and learning to fight fair is really what you want to do. This is confusing, right? It's like, I don't want to fight with my partner. I want to resolve a problem. Because the truth of the matter is any two people, I don't care who you are. I don't care how much you care about each other. You are going to disagree disagreement in a marriage, in any relationship, is a given. But when we look at disagreement and we think it's conflict or we think it means we're going to have to fight, that sets up a whole emotional cascade, right? Think about it. I'm going to go have a fight with my partner. So let me go to my closet, get out my suit of armor and my sword and my shield, and I'm gonna come fully armed to this interaction with my partner. How's that working for you, right? And by the way, like I said before, all of the skills, all of the techniques, the, the, the reflective listening, the pausing before you respond, all of this stuff is really good advice. The problem is, is that it's being told as, as, as grounds for fighting. So I'm really curious about your experience, because one of the things about fighting is it gets us emotionally stirred up. And when we are emotionally stirred up, guess what? It's, we can't listen. You can't listen. I can't listen. Your partner can't listen. Right? We actually have words for it. Right? You know, there's a rushing in my ears. I see red. Um, I'm numb. None of these things are positive. These are things, these are, that's your body telling you you are in danger. Fight, flee, or freeze. And now what we're, you're being told by the experts is, no, you got to stand there and you got to go toe to toe with your partner. And I'm going to tell you, most of the time, that makes matters worse. Because when we're fighting, 
we're not thinking. When we're being run by our emotional system, we are going to say and do things that we cannot unsay or undo. And that's going to make whatever the original situation is worse. So if you're going to read an article about how to fight fair, please remove the word fight and just pay attention to everything else. Right? Do not give yourself permission to fight with your partner and do not accept their invitation to fight with you. Because fighting is not necessary and fighting does damage. So the better solution is just to learn how to resolve differences of opinions and let go of the word fight. So I'd love your feedback on this. People think I'm crazy. Uh, that's okay. I'm used to it, right? Um, I'd love to know what your experience is when you've tried to fight fair with your partner. Um, I would love for you to subscribe to this series so that you can get all of my information about bad marriage advice. And if you want some help in learning how to productively interact with your partner over tough topics, then I invite you to get in touch with me. Put a comment down below. You can direct message me. You can shoot me an email at leslie at foundationscoachingnc.com. But the one thing I want you to do is to get out of your head that fighting fair is a good way to go. So until next week, stay loving.